Well, okay, so we're all gardeners. Well, we love the outdoors, but we want to bring the outdoors inside, mm -hmm. too. So I ask Wendy, especially now that it's getting hot outside, mm -hmm. we want to bring that tropical feel in, indoors. Yeah, we want to spend more time inside anyways, but we still want our plants inside. We want to feel like we're outside just without the heat. You got a lot of great options. Yeah. Let's start. This is with uh, more of a low light. This is highlight. We're going to start with highlight stuff okay. here. Um, this here is ficus. Most people are familiar with this is the Benjamina. This one you can, you're can you going to see a lot in like offices and businesses and houses as well. Most people are very familiar with this. It's easy to take care of. You can have them in bush forms, but this one is in tree form. You do have to maintain it. You want to cut off the suckers along the trunk to keep it in this tree form shape. But they're real easy to take care of. Um, a lot of people are not as familiar with the alley fig, which has a longer, it looks kind of like a peach tree in a way, leaf. Mm -hmm. um, they're a little bit hardier than the regular ficus, in my opinion, um, but they grow really well. I see these in malls a lot. They get really very, very large uh, growing in malls and businesses as well, but they go great in a house that's going to have like a large ceiling. You can cut them down to keep them maintained if you don't want them to get too tall. And when you're talking about highlight, how much sunshine. Okay, today. highlight is going to be in a south or west window. Um, an east window would be okay, but it's going to be more medium to low light on an east side. And north sides are going to be very low light. So mm -hmm. you're going to, we'll talk about some low light stuff a little bit later for the north okay. sides and the east sides, but we're going to stick with highlight for now. Um, this is another ficus here. This is a rubber plant. Uh, this is actually going to get significantly taller as well, but it's kind of slow growing. So if you don't want it to get tall, you can keep cutting it back so that it, it bushes out instead of getting the long stems on it. Mm -hmm. But this one comes in also a burgundy color, and then a, this is variegated with the pink, but it's a, there's a variegated with white too, which is really nice. I love the variety of color in that. Yeah, that That's one's real gorgeous. pretty. It's going to be it's going to be nice in kind of a corner area, which is going to brighten something up. And then, uh, you know, we got Shuffleras here, which are so easy to take care of. They can go almost anywhere, but they, they do like a significant amount of light. Um, this one here is a variegated one, and then we have some green ones. And they are also in bush or tree form, and they're really easy to take care of. You want to, again, with, like with the ficus, cut off the any suckers that are growing along the trunk. But they grow so fast that people are like, I have to keep cutting them back. But that's great because if you cut them and you don't like how they look, then they're going to grow back fast and be pretty where you, you, know, you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about that. And then we've got some philodendrons here, which everybody loves philodendrons because they grow fast. They get so large. You know, this, this leaf is going to get huge. And this is the split leaf variety. But they, we've, they've also developed some newer ones that have different colors. Like this is a burgundy color, and there's a lime green color. And there's also some orange ones and some pink ones that have come out in the last couple years, which are really nice. You've also got the crotons mm -hmm. here, which I just love. They're so versatile. Yeah, crotons are great. They, they love inside, but they like outside, too. They're highlight. They need to dry out pretty maintenance-free inside. And uh, again, they have, th this is just two of the varieties, but they, they come in so many different ones with the different leaf shapes and the different colors with the oranges and the yellows and the reds. There's also some new ones that have some kind of a white with it, which is really nice too. Now this is, uh, this is one of my favorites here. This is Diffenbachia, and this one is still really small. This one is going to get, the leaves are going to get about twice that size, and they, they need highlight to keep this variegation, like this variegation here. Mm -hmm. um, in the lower light, they're going to lose some of it, and it's going to be kind of uh, more green like this here. Um, but they, they also come in the different, different varieties here with the more white and speckles, uh, which are really, I, I, I love these plants. They, they're really easy to take care of, let them dry out between waterings, and they're really nice. And very showy. Mm -hmm, yeah. Speaking of showy, this is cordyline, which it looks kind of like a grass, but it has a nice texture to it, which is going to add, it's kind of contemporary, so it would be really nice in a, in a contemporary office or home. And uh, these like highlight, and they need to go really dry between waterings, but they can go outside as well, which would be nice in a mixed pot. Um, and then we have the Dracaena mass cane, which these are so, e this is probably one of the easiest house plants to take care of. They, in, I don't know if you can see this pot or not, but the pot is about 10 inches across and it. Let's go through the jungle here. <laughs> um, I mean, really on this, you're going to be looking at maybe once a month watering this plant. 
Maybe. You have to let them go very, very dry because just because the plant is really big, the root system grows very slow and so they need to dry out or the root system, you run a risk of drowning it and it could die. But they have this great variegation in the leaf and these awesome trunks which are just very textural and I see these in a, a lot of restaurants because they're so easy. And here's some more Dracaenas here, the Marginata which has this really cool trunk here and then we've got the different colors here like the Limelight and these bicolors, which are, these are all really easy to take care of. These can go low light or high light. Mm -hmm. And then the mother-in-law's tongue, which most people are familiar with, these are low light or high light. Pretty, pretty maintenance free. I kind of call them, throw them in a corner because you just let them go really, really dry. They don't require a lot of fertilizer or anything. And then this one here, this is my favorite one. This is Aglaonema. And they, they're only going to get about two to three foot tall, but they, they go in very low light. We're talking about low light stuff now. And they come in the different colors here with the different uh, shades and speckles. And I just, I have about 11 of these in my house because they're so <laughs> easy to take care of. Well, you're not a gardener now, no, are you? No, 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 no. And then most people, you know, when they think of indoor plants, they think of peace lilies. And this is the peace lily here, and they have the great, the great blooms here. And I just want to point out, this one's in a pot. Um, and we don't recommend potting in the pots. It's better for the plant if you just set it inside. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you get, you get the pots are so big that you, uh, they're heavy and you, um, you need to lift the pot up. And so we recommend putting these oopsie daisies in there, mm -hmm. which just creates a false bottom. Mm -hmm. So it lifts the plant up. And then you can put this moss, this forest moss over the top so that you can't see that it's not planted in there, which is really nice. And then we've got some palms here. Everybody wants palms for inside, um, but a lot of palms are really high light, but these are low light palms. This is a bamboo palm and then the sago palm here, which is really nice. Uh, it's a high light palm though. Mm -hmm. And then we have Neanthabella palm, which is really good. It stays real short. And then we ha have, everybody wants hanging baskets inside. You know, you gotta have a different, different height and stuff. Well, that pothos, man, I'm telling you that, I have a lot of those in my house because they're foolproof. Yeah, me too, me too. They're, they're really easy. I actually have some growing in water on my kitchen table, which is really nice. And they, they've started coming out with new varieties too with the different colors like this one, the Marble Queen. And then there's the Cordatum too, which is really nice. Now this one requires some more light, but it's really fast. It's gonna hang down a lot. And it comes in the neon color as well. And then we've got the ferns here. Uh, this is a staghorn fern and a rabbit's foot fern, which those are going to go great in like a bathroom area where it's really humid and you want to keep them moist. Okay, that's good advice. And then advice. most people inside, they, they still want blooming plants. And so we do have some options for blooming. There's bromeliads, which give you a great tropical look there. Um, and then this here is a bromeliad too, which has the really pretty leaves. And then begonias go good in the house. They don't bloom all the time, but they do bloom off and on throughout throughout the year, and they're really pretty. And of course, there's orchids, which, you know, continue to bloom throughout the year as well. And then we've got a couple different things like terrariums, which are really nice, like in a small space or an office, and bonsais, which would be really good in an office, and they're just kind of fun. And then this here, I really like this. This is so cool. This is a volcano rock, and the, this chefalera is planted into this volcano rock, and the roots grow on top of it and you just keep water in the saucer, and those are just really neat. Great, that's a great gift idea. Great ideas, Winnie, thank you so much. Coming up next, we're gonna talk crepe myrtles, so stay with us.